Yet another blast of Arctic air is sweeping through the East Coast Tuesday. And not only is it bringing bone-chilling temperatures and flurries, but for air travelers along the East Coast and here at the Myrtle Beach International Airport, it means headaches too. Missing the day's pay tomorrow. So I call my boss up, tell him my plane got delayed, and hopefully they'll say okay. Mike and Debbie Sicaranza were booked on the 2 p.m. to LaGuardia until Mother Nature had a change of plans. Their flight was canceled for weather. Just one of more than 2,500 flights canceled nationwide because of the storm. So I'm not annoyed about the flight being canceled because certainly everybody can understand the conditions and the fact that it's not safe. Joseph Roberto was headed to New York too. And although he is understanding of the cancellation, he knows it comes with a cost. I'm gonna go rent a car. It's gonna cost me that to take me back home and I'll drop it off tomorrow. By early Tuesday, major airports from New York to Washington had canceled a quarter to a third of scheduled flights. A trend that doesn't seem to be as bad here at home yet. So far I haven't got any notification that it was gonna be any delays. So I'm keeping my fingers crossed. But that could change. And if it does, James Richardson says he'll be ready. Grab a hotel room and hang out. And now hope I can get out tomorrow because I have a couple of meetings scheduled for tomorrow. In Myrtle Beach, Mark Liverman, WPDE News Channel 15.